all of you welcome back to yet another video and i hope you guys are having an amazing weekend if not don't worry about that things will change and you will have a great weekend i just want to share a few things with all of you guys because this is very important for every single one of you who are interested in blockchain development smart contract and no matter what type of development you are interested in back and front end ai blockchain protocol it's for everyone because there are certain things never change Recently, I've seen a lot of reels and you guys are giving a lot of focus on those reels. Some of you have sent me those reels about the roadmap, about the smart contract, about that funny coding videos. To be honest, if you try to give so much focus on those little things, then you're not able to focus on your own self. So that's all we're going to talk about in this video that how you can plan your time. What are the things you have to focus on? How you have to prepare your learning curve? Because that is very important. So always search for good material, not for a person. Search for good material that who is giving you good material, which help you in your learning curve, giving you the right advice for the industry. And you are actually learning something. I can see a lot of you watch a lot of reels because when I see my Instagram reels, I get a lot of reels where you guys suggest that this is what this guy is saying. Like this is what they're talking about the smart contract. This is what they're talking about the back end, front end, the job market, the React, the Rust programming language. If you start giving focus to those small reels where they talk about the small syntax and they just tell you this is what it is and then the reel is over. That's not how development work exactly. Development is a long term process. In some of the reel, the, the, the creator said that just install Rust, write a hello world program and now you can start applying for the job. That's not how things work. You have to take it realistically that what exactly happening. So this is a very important thing. And the reason why I'm telling you this because a lot of you are a beginner developer. They want you to get into the industry, learning smart contract, blockchain protocol. And recently I was talking to one of uh, his probably in second semester and he told me that he's learning blockchain development for the last one year from different resources. And he told me that he learned Ethereum, blockchain, smart contract and all the possible technology about the framework, testing, everything. But still he's not getting any response from the industry for internship for a job. What is wrong he is doing? So during this conversation, I asked him about his project, that what are the project he has built. So he not mentioned a single project. He said that I know the technology I have built in this smart contract, but he have never built a fully functional application. He showed me a small project related to the DAO, but DAO is a very common one and it's not that complex. There is nothing new. There is a lot of DAO which you can find on the internet, which you can simply copy paste and you can provide it. What are your improvisation you have done into that? So he built a very basic DAO. We talk about the few variables and all of things. So I'm not saying that it's bad, but he has not prepared and planned his learning that what exactly his learning. So what I did, so I simply asked him that how you can generate the ABI for the smart contract if hard at or Ganache is not working, what mode of tools and technology you will use to generate the ABI. And to be honest, he was failed to answer. I know this is a very basic things, but you have to know that how you can generate the ABI for the contract. This is very basic. He might know, but he have forgotten. But when I asked this question, he was not able to answer me. So these kind of basic things, you have to make it clear before you learn the big things. Once your fundamental is clear about the technology, about the tools which you are utilizing regularly, it will help you because interview can ask you this kind of silly things. They will ask you to build a smart contract in which you have to lock the font, which is a very basic one. But some of you get confused between the timestamp. It's in millisecond or it's in second. I have seen this mistake n number of time. So these kind of things you have to understand that you have to know that how you can generate the ABI of the smart contract. How many of you know before I tell you the answer and show you that how you can generate the ABI. I just let me know in the comment section that what are the other ways we have to generate the ABI for the smart contract. So it's a very simple thing which you have to know as a blockchain developer, as a smart contract developer. And when you don't have the proper clarity about the technology and when you are not focusing on your learning. So this problem happens to everyone, like those who started learning about the blockchain or any technology in front end, back end, it happens to everyone because right now content is free and you focus so much on the reels and just try to learn about the JavaScript function where he's telling you that how you can get the array. That's not how things work. When you will sit for the interview, when you will go to the industry, you're not going to build that particular little thing. It's a part of the learning, but if you not utilize that learning, then what kind of learning you will have? And trust me, you can never learn anything from the real unless or until you try to get enjoyment out of it. If you watch, you save it, but you never open your save list in your Instagram. So you have to understand that where you are spending your time, how quality time you are spending from learning. 
because development is a long term process. Like those who is telling you you're going to master JavaScript blockchain development within two months, three months. It's nothing like that. You can only scratch the fifty percent, fifteen percent. I'd say fifteen percent of the syntax. But if you start building on project, every time whenever I work on any project, I discover something new. Sometime into the import module, sometime I build some kind of logic for the contract for the if loop. I always discover something new. So it's all about time. The more time you will spend practicing code rather than focusing on the theoretical concept, yes, it's important. But if not going to implement what you are learning, it's not going to help you. So if you sit and watch hundreds of video on Instagram, that's not going to benefit you at all. Like you will forget everything. You will forget everything. End of the day. So I just want you to spend your quality time. That's the ultimate motive for this free internet. If you really want to get into the industry, the fastest way to build project, and only one percent of you, like I can see a lot of user I have, but only one percent of you build actual project. You apply for job day night, like in constant basis every single day. Some of you say that I apply for five company today, like some say twenty company. Some some of you post LinkedIn post, but have you ever thought that why you're not getting that response? That's the thing you have to ask yourself that you are applying for so many company, why you are not getting any response? Is there any problem in the job market? No, there is a like there is there is always up and down you will find in every single market, but why you are not getting that response? You have to work on your skill. So before you start applying on of those companies blindly without knowing their requirement, focus on your skills. Give four to five months, learn about the technology, and that way you will always succeed in the long run. Always, so no matter what project you are building, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is to simply build from start to end and try to understand every single thing. Because when you will have that kind of understanding, and when you will sit in the interview, when you will explain each and every variable that why you have included this particular variable, why you are not taking this variable as a call data, why you are taking as a string. So you have to know the difference that why there is a two type of data type we have and why we use each one. Above the other, so you have to know these are the basic things. We have so many projects, so these are the couple of projects which I want you to build. The first one is NFT marketplace. This will teach you every single thing about the NFT and its utility model. That how you can utilize NFT in the real world and how it's going to help you. You can simply target those business related to the medical industry registrations. You can target the event management. You can target the real estate. So you can include this particular model into different businesses. That's why NFT is very important. We have the Uniswap. We have multiple Uniswap project. Understand about the chat. This one is one of the complex contract you're going to write. It's going to have multiple contract where we are using the call data, Kika byte. So we are come converting and matching. There is a lot of communication happening within the contract for getting the information about the user and the friend and all. So learn about it. We have a Uniswap clone. Learn about that. So we have tons of project. Trust me, we have tons of project like Chat GDP three, ICO. My Uniswap marketplace. We have the crypto bot. We have the Solana project, crypto exchange, liquidity. This one is why I'm working on. So if you talk about the Uniswap tools, you can use this particular project and understand. Again, I would suggest you that you have to build project if you really want to learn. Stop wasting time watching those reels and being an audience because being an audience is a very ordinary thing. Anybody can be audience to anyone. So you have to understand that where you are spending your time, what you are learning, and how you are learning. So that's the only thing from my end. I hope you guys have got an idea that how you can generate the API. What are the things you have to keep in mind when you are learning anything? Always try to open your mind and take knowledge from all the direction. But at the end, you have to finalize and fix your path. That where you want to go, how you want to go, what you have to learn, and from whom you want to learn, which is very important. So that's the only thing from my end. And see you soon in the next project. Have a wonderful day. Bye.